second graders. We've all had that moment when we're reading a good book where the words that the author used painted such a clear picture in our minds that it transported us into that book and into that moment. Our goal this week is to do that to the readers of our poetry. So in a moment, I'll be showing you your mentor text that we'll be using this week. And we're going to be using the ideas that you talked about yesterday, where you were taking bland, boring words and coming up with much more exciting or interesting words. And I'm going to ask you to imagine that you are living through some kind of weather event to go along with our theme of earth changes. So let's imagine for a second a blizzard. That's something that we might connect to really strongly because we had that big snowstorm last week. Now, I'm um, imagining this moment where uh, this is something that really happened to me, that my family was on a walk, right, as it kind of had started snowing and these big fat snowflakes were falling from the sky. And we looked up at the sky and just saw all of those flakes flying down. So as I'm imagining that moment, I'm thinking about what I saw and heard, and I'm starting to get some ideas in my mind about some really interesting words that I might use to describe that moment. You're gonna match a mentor text. So sometimes it helps to start out using those first couple words from our mentor text poem. So if that helps you do that, if you're feeling inspired to just do your own thing, that is absolutely fine as well. So your goal this week is to imagine that weather event. It could be something you really lived through or it could be something from your imagination. Maybe you've read some great books about some big events that have um, experienced by other people and you can put yourself in that moment. Or if you're struggling with that imagination piece, try just going outside and sitting, uh, you know, in the sunshine and hopefully it's sunny this week and not snowy and just kind of experience that moment and try to put some words to it that are going to make your reader feel like they're there with you in that moment. Here's your mentor text. I throw myself to the left. I turn myself to the right. I am the fish who glides in the water, who glides, who twists himself, who leaps. Everything lives, everything dances, everything sings. Remember that as you're starting out your own poem, you might think about starting it out in this same way. I throw myself, I turn myself, I am the... You might imagine that you are living through a particular moment. So if we are in the middle of a blizzard or if you were in the ocean and experiencing the tides or if you were in a cave and heard water dripping, there's all kinds of ways that you can experience a moment and show that in your writing. So take some time just to imagine and give it a try. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Use the rest of this video to imagine some of these different places and kickstart your imagination.